hey cute people i'm trying to fight with um the sun for time but i think i'll be okay because i want to do a wash and go i haven't done a wash and go in a very very long time so i figured why not do one now i'm always doing twist outs and um i don't experiment much with my hair and now my hair is much longer than when i tried to wash and go before so i'm just curious to see what it's going to look like i already already washed and conditioned my hair and i used the shave weight radiance nourishing hair cream as my leave-in i love this stuff i have a review on it you should check it out then i used the last of this jojoba oil that i had which i also like to um, I got it from a beauty supply store. I guess you can figure that out. It was a dollar ninety nine. If you ever see, they have like um four or five other oils too. So if you ever see it, pick it up because I like it and I am finished. It's gone. So as you can see, my hair is already sectioned and it's wet. So I have a spray bottle full of just plain water in case my hair dries out before I'm halfway finished, and then I can damp my hair because I want my hair to be damp 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 and I'm going to try for the first time for me anyway the eco styler argan oil styling gel I had the um olive oil but the top was cracked and it dried out so this is the one I have I had it for a while, a while and I've never used it these are the two utensils I'm going to use I'm hoping I can get away with this one here because the ends are rounded I really don't care for this type brush but I want my hair to be smooth and very um straight as possible without all, all the kinkies that I usually have and like I said I already applied those things but I'm going to apply this section by section and this is another product by Shea Radiance this is their moisture rich hair butter it's for kinky hair and I like this stuff um I'll do a full review on it later on as you can see I am almost finished this stuff so I'll do a full review on it um, another time give you more of an idea of what it's like I'm pretty much going to start with the front of my head normally I would do the back but I'm going to start with the front of my head this time I um wash my hair a whole lot differently than I normally would and it was really an epic fail and um I wish I would have done it on camera so you guys can see the oopsie mistake that I've made. But my hair is very wet, just what I wanted. And I'm just going to take a little section of my hair just to show you what I'm going up. Oh, before I do that, like I said, I'm each section, remember? Because I already put everything else in my hair. So I'm going to put this in, in each section. And of course, I'm gonna try to concentrate at the ends of my hair. Just try to stretch it, you know, manipulate it that way. And then I'm going to part my hair. I wish I had a um red tail comb, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Like I said, I tried a new way to um, wash my hair, and it was not successful at all. Not for me, anyway. So, probably have to do a lot of detangling, but I'm going to try. Yep, I'm going to really try not to have to do too much. Yep, this is going to be a feat for me, I can tell already. And then I'm just going to rake it this way. I'm not really going to run my fingers too much through this part of my hair because this part of my hair is really loose pattern. So but I just want to run it through. You can 
see a little something going on there. Let me see. Okay. All right, so let's see. So what I'm going to do from here on, I'm not going to use either one of those tools. Like, I'm going to just use my fingers to detangle as much as I can and pretty much get it as straight as I can because those things are just breaking off my hair. And as you know, when you have tight coils, your hair tangles fast, easy, and, um, I don't need that. So I want to wear a wash and go. So I'm definitely curious now to see how my hair is going to come out. So I'm just going to use my fingers. and Okay, cute people. I finished this one section. And for some reason, I think my hair is going to be in danger, girl. I don't know. But I got a feeling this is not going to be a good look. So just so you can see, this is what it looks like up close, in case you can't see. Not like much of nothing, but sometimes washing goes come out like that, right? They look like much of nothing, then when they dry, they be fly. So. I shall be back. And my hair probably isn't the best as far as det being detangled. That is why I didn't want to do a wash and go a while ago. Probably why I won't be doing one again anytime too soon. But I should have detangled my hair a little, a whole lot better than what I did. So if you have tight coils like me and you want to wash and go, wear a wash and go style, detangle your hair. And I usually do it every week, but I guess I just didn't, well, not that I guess, I just didn't feel like doing it this week. I just didn't feel detangling my hair much. This is it. And you can see I have a lot of shrinkage. And I tell you, I don't mind shrinkage. That's okay. This is what it looks like. A lot of shrinkage, right? So I pretty much have... hair the way I want it. It's all throughout my hair. You can see my hair looks real tiny little coils. I'm really curious to see how this is going to come out. So now that I have it everywhere in my hair, I'm just going to shake it. Hey cute people, yes it's four days later. Unfortunately I wasn't able to show you what my hair came out to look like prior to. But I'm going to use some grapeseed oil in my hair. I'm not going to put any water in it because I don't want to disturb my um, coily coils. And that's just what um, they look like, little tiny coils, which I do like. I don't mind that my hair shrunk and you can see it shrunk an awful lot. The first day, it was um, much shorter or more shrinkage than it is right now. It was crunchy, I'll say, but it wasn't really, really hard. The argan oil does have a hold of 10, but I pretty much like it because by day 2, day 3, it was very much soft to the touch. I hadn't put any water on my hair at all. I just used the grapeseed oil 
in the morning and then again at night to try to, you know, keep some type of moisture in my hair. And then I'm just fliffing, fluffing, tweaking and twerking. I didn't put any um, gel on the front of my hair. I just brushed the um, sides, you know, to keep it a little sleek. And this is my sunburst style because all I do is just push it up to, well, I just push it back. And this is what it comes out to look like. And I like it. And disregard that little piece up there that's out of the way. But I really, really like it. So I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next. Yes, I want you to share and spread love. Hey cute people, subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them. Also, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as Ebony Girl Speaks. Facebook, I'm Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.